Hi, welcome to the Essential series. In this video, we'll cover two cases of simple retouching tasks that can be done without going outside of Final Cut Pro. During video production, conditions change and problems often crop up. We've already talked about color balance and other important topics on our YouTube channel. Check out the links to those in the description. But what can we do about unwanted spots and blemishes on the skin? This will be the focus of our first two examples. In the last example, we will show how easy it is to brighten up a smile with some masking and tracking. We're using Final Cut Pro together with Color Finality Pro. Try the free 7-day trial today, link in the description. If you want, tell us about your retouching tips and tricks in the comments. Consider subscribing to our channel and turn on our notifications so you never miss a new video. So, let's begin with this example. Suppose, after some consultation, we really need to remove the mole on a talent's face. We go to the Color Finality Pro Layers panel and add a filter layer. If at the beginning the amount of layers needed to get the result cannot be determined, it's a good idea to create a group and apply tracking over the group and then add layers as needed. This layer will act on a whole frame unless we apply a mask to it, so let's apply an ellipse shape mask now. To make the shape follow the object, we enable tracking and correct the mask's size and position as we go along. Let's use a Gaussian blur at 100% for maximum effect. The RGB channels under radius can be used to better match the blur to the skin tone. The area inside of the ellipse mask is blurred, but we still need to lose its hard edges. So let's add some feathering. About 50% feels right. Almost there. Let's choose a different blend mode for the mask, such as Lighten. Let's bring back some texture by copying the mask layer. This preserves the tracking. But instead of the blur filter, we swap it for Sharpen. Copying the layer with its mask once more and setting a Gaussian Blur at around 50%. RGB under radius to match if necessary. Changing its blend mode to normal. We can always do some final adjustments over the whole image. Let's use color wheels to dial in our final look. Done. Second example. Since there are multiple objects to remove, creating groups is a good idea to keep a manageable structure. Here we'll mostly do the same things as in the previous example. So, ellipse mask over the area we want to fix. putting tracking over the mask, small adjustments for the most precise result. Then a Gaussian blur filter. Adjusting the RGB channels to better match the skin tone. Feathering the mask to make a smooth edge. Setting layer blend mode to lighten. Done. This was for one spot. For the others, we can just copy the layer and do the same actions again. Now we've gotten rid of some unwanted blemishes on the skin. Okay, let's take a look at a different task. Here we have a smile that we really want to stand out. We will need color wheels and an HSL mask. selecting the needed color range and setting up the mask. We don't have to worry about the HSL selection grabbing other areas. We'll fix this after the next step. Let's first open up color wheels and carefully add in some blue, going away from the yellows. This gives the teeth a whiter look. Now a bit of brightness. Let's raise it up a bit. The HSL mask picked up tones all over the image. 
To make sure that the HSL mask only affects the teeth, let's create some bounds with the shape mask. We start by looking for the first frame where the teeth just become visible and draw the mask over the teeth. And apply tracking. We change the mask to intersect mode to remove areas with skin tones. So now we're just targeting the teeth. You can find more similar examples of using these techniques in Matteo Orlandi's Color Finale training course, link in the corner and in the description. Now you've seen how small but important retouch tasks can be made with Color Finale 2 Pro. Try for yourself with a free 7-day trial. Until the next time, goodbye.